Hello, good morning you guys. I wanted to walk through my morning routine slash minimal makeup, no makeup, makeup. I've already showered and I don't really use that many products post shower. I keep my skincare routine pretty minimal just because I do have such a sensitive face. I'm just gonna jump right into it. <laughs> I haven't put anything on my face right now and it feels like leather. I have very dry skin, but right now I've been really, really into using a gua sha, and it's been about a month of me consistently using this, and I didn't want to make a video about it until I've used it consistently, and it's crazy. You can actually tell when you do it in the morning, it's wild. I'll do one side of my face, and once I'm done doing one side of my face, it literally looks like more plump, like more awake. And so I was kind of skeptical on them just because I'm like, Neh. are they just like a gimmicky kind of fad type of thing? But no, no. I got this off of um, Herbivore Botanicals. I use plant-derived squalane oil. Just, it's very gentle and simple on my skin. I was struggling with Malastasia folliculitis. Malastasia folliculitis, quickly known as Pity Rossborum folliculitis. Yes, okay, so another word for it is fungal acne. It just sounds kind of gross. But it's where I had these little bumps all over my forehead. I'd get them on my chin sometimes. And they weren't like zits really, but you wanted to, you know? And they would just, they wouldn't go away. So then I just kept cycling through different products. I was talking to my naturopath about it. It's, it's a yeast overgrowth on your um, hair follicles and your skin to my understanding and so i went through a whole process of watching youtube videos about this it's become more well known now and it's helped a ton of people understand what is going on with their skin i actually ended up having to use nizerol dandruff shampoo and i was seeing so many people use it as face masks within using it consistently for about two weeks that's what completely fixed it and like i still get occasional little like zits like real zits you know on my forehead because i this is a very oily zone for me i'm prone to like touching my face and then I was pairing it with this squalane oil and come on. Now this is all I'm using for my face as far as a moisturizer goes and it does pretty well. Now on to gua sha. <laughs> Every morning I will add like, like five drops of the squalane and then I just press it into my face and neck and chest area until it's all evenly distributed. And this has become a very big ritual for me in the morning and nighttime. It just helps me breathe. You're gonna start from the neck and you keep it at like a 45 degree angle and you just drag upwards with just minimal pressure, but just like, they call it like a scraping technique and that's kind of, you know, you're not pulling, you're just gliding. And then once I'm done with my neck, I do under the jaw. And then you're gonna use the little V or heart shaped part of the, the tool and just go up your jawline and give it a little wiggle. And then once you're done with that, I use the flatter edge and I start from like the mid lip and you just drag it. Okay, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to the little heart shaped and I'm just going to do kind of like an upward gentle all right and then once I get to the eyebrow I haven't seen this but this is what I do it just feels kind of good I use each little point 
and I pretty much grab my eyebrow and give it a little wiggle and that helps relieve a lot of tension that I didn't know I had in my face. And then you're gonna start, I do about five scrapes in an upward direction. Okay. And then just give right there a little massage. And you repeat everything I just showed you on your other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then um, we'll get on to my makeup. So after I'm done massaging my face, I will go in and I've been using Super Goop, the unseen sunscreen. And so I just use just like, I don't know, like a little pea size. So I'm just gonna, and then I always use, this is my, oh, my holy grail of lip products is the Aesop Rosehip Seed Lip Cream. It is so amazing and lasts forever. And you just use a little tiny dot, like little, little tiny dot, and it makes your lips feel like velvet. I'm going to move on to curling my lashes. I've been really into the Glossier Cloud Paint, so I've been using two of their colors and I mix them a lot. So this is Dusk and this is Storm and I'll use them both separately as well, but I really like how they look when you combine them. And going with the same. And I also like adding just a touch of the Storm color on my nose because it gives you that little cute, I don't know, sun-kissed kind of look. Okay, so now that I added that to my cheeks, I am going to cover up some blemishes that I'm sure some of you can see. I blessed myself with great light this morning by filming this in front of my door, um, <clears throat> and it's just showing me some breakouts that I have. So I have used RMS Beauty, and I can't stress them enough. They're like, this is their Uncover Up in color 22.5. And I don't know if you can see it, there you go. Their concealer is just perfect. It's light coverage, but just enough to just even out your skin tone. And their products are so clean and it lasts me a decent amount of time. And I'll, I'll use this probably like every two days. Some days I just won't wear any makeup, but I'm just going to dab where I need some help. And again, I just use my finger. I also have the RMS makeup brush, but I do feel like it just absorbs a lot of the makeup and it doesn't transfer all of it back onto my skin. So I've gone through these way quicker when I'm using their brush. And I'm gonna go under my eyes and just add a few on corner of my eye right here. And then I'm gonna go in on the inside corner and help brighten up my face. And I also have a ton of freckles on my face in the summertime, and I don't wanna cover them up fully. So that's also why I choose to use just more of like a light coverage um, foundation. Some days I'll pair it with the Armas Translucent Powder that they have. This is the Tinted Unpowder 01, and that will really hold the makeup into my face. But today I kinda just wanna keep a little glowy, dewy look, so I'm just not gonna add any powder. And then I also use the RMS, there we go, the Master Mixer. So I use the Master Mixer as a highlight, and um, you can really use it for anything. Like, I'll put it on my eyes some nights, in the corners of my eyes, but I love how this looks. This color is just kind of like a, a rosy, bronzy kind of highlighter, and it pairs really, really well with the Glossier Cheek color that I use. So I'm just going to dab that. And this thing lasts me for like months because you really don't need a lot because it just slides onto your skin. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just illuminates and I love it. And then top of the lip, I literally eat one thing and this is gone, but it makes me feel pretty. All right top of the lip, and then I'll do the inner corners a little. 
if I'm trying to do like a full dewy look, which I am. There we go. I feel like you can see it on this side really well. It has such a nice glow. After I do that, brows, brows, brows. I've been using the Glossier Boy Brow. We've all seen it. We all love it. And this is in, or brown. Yeah, just the brown color. Are you gonna make coffee? All right, boy brow. And I just kind of brush them upwards. My brow is kind of thin out at the edges, so I like to kind of apply the product a little heavy back here. Um, and brush them upwards to kind of fluff them up a bit. brows are done and then <clears throat> I just got the new Glossier sky wash I've just fallen in love with their products they're just very simple and easy to use and I know a lot of people are on the same boat as me so I'm just gonna do a little dot on each eyelid that'll just bring a little neutral orange tone to my eyelid and it'll help my eyes pop you just dab it on and you can build this and make it deeper and darker but i kind of like having it be subtle so then i'm going to go in so i have a brown just eyeliner pencil this is glossier and i use my angled brush i've had this for ages it's just like a sephora brush but and i've just been brushing the tip of it in there and giving myself just a very subtle wing so, okay, let's see if you guys can still see this. So I just pull my, my eyelid. Super subtle. It's not anything like crazy. I need to get my mascara. Okay, so I've just been using the Benefit The Real Mascara. I, once I run out of this, I want to try a new one just, just because I, I want to. I've been using this brand for ages. It works great, but I think I'm ready to try out some new things. Ta-da. Done. This is literally my daily makeup routine. Mark. Yes. It looks so good. It looks beautiful. Gonna wait for the coffee to be done and then, then I'll show you my Animal Crossing town. Okay, so this is my little hilltop that I start out on. Oh, I got some weeds. I'm gonna make this look a lot prettier, but this is my home. There's my spa jacuzzi. And then some of my other villagers' homes, cute little bench. Lots of waterfalls. Waterfalls are very crucial in my town. Oh, I forgot I put orange trees over here. I've got a lot of open space still in the main level just because I don't really know what I want to do with it just yet. But this will be my museum. I need to demolish this bridge and then build a new bridge going right here. There, I've got this awesome little campfire area that I created love it and then we go up here to our pool i'm just gonna say this is an infinity pool because it should be but it's not i just harvested yesterday but these are full of oranges and pears and peaches all that i have a cute little path gets me about forty thousand bells every time i harvest them and then i got nooks cranny beachfront resort 
Right now, this is what I'm working on, is making the Able Sisters area more aesthetic and pretty. Yeah. So that is, that's my island. Still work in progress. I'm getting so much inspiration from all these amazing people on YouTube who have made insane islands. I've definitely been pulling a lot of ideas from those islands and kind of mixing them into mine. But Eventide is the name of my island. And if you guys played Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know. You know what island that is. We all know what island that is. The only difference when you visit my island is that you don't lose all of your clothes and weapons. I'm going to play a little bit more of Animal Crossing, finish my smoothie, drink some coffee, and make some lunch a little bit later on. Please be sure to like and subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions, please comment. I will always make sure I respond. All right. Peace out.